Hi everyone, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. I welcome to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Dear students, let us now discuss bee trees. Okay, so what is bee trees? How they are different from other types of trees and what are their advantages? Each and everything I am going to discuss in, in my today's session. So, bee tree is a self-balancing search tree, first of all. Okay, what is bee tree? It is a self-balancing search tree and next point in most of the other self-balancing search trees like avial so that uh, what the type what is avial tree i will be discussing in my next video so it is assumed that everything is in main memory so whatever the data we are storing in the trees most of the data always it will be in main memory so when i am talking about main memory we know that the size of the main memory is considerably less compared to the secondary memory is it right or not so we need to efficiently utilize the main memory in order to store the data okay b trees are used when the entire data cannot be stored in main memory this is very very important point okay sometimes the data is very very large and it cannot be stored in the main memory because the main memory size is pretty much less as already told compared with the secondary memory so in those cases b trees are preferred when the data is not sufficient to, to be stored in the main memory, B trees are used. Now, with this, you people might have got one clarity that the data which we are storing in B trees, it will take less memory compared with other types of trees. Okay, how B trees will take less space in computer that we will discuss in example. Okay, next point. Disk access time is very high compared to main memory access time because if something is stored in main memory automatically the speed will be fast the main idea of using b trees is to reduce the number of disk accesses so which means at a time if we are able to store the data in main memory then the accessing will be pretty much fast so we are saving the lot of time what uh, what type of time we are saving in order to access the data again it should access the data from disk so why to access the data again and again from disk if the data if that entire data is in main memory then the accessing time will be pretty much faster okay now let us uh, discuss one example here so before i am going to discuss the example let me discuss first of all the properties of b trees so all leaves of B trees are at the same level, first point. As I already told, what is the meaning of level? There are many levels in the tree depending on the complexity of the tree. So, the leaves of B trees are at the same level, which means we don't have one leaf at fifth level, another leaf at fourth level. Unlike other types of trees, in B trees, all the leaf nodes, they are at the same level. Okay, next point. A B tree of order M can have at most M minus 1 keys and M children. That I will point out in my next example. Every node in B tree has at most M children. Okay, maximum it can have this M children. What is M? Let me discuss. And root node must have at least two nodes. So, minimum a root node must have at least two nodes. Okay, now we got one clarity. In normal binary trees or binary search trees, or even when we take avial trees also every node will consist of only one value but here the specialty of b trees is in b tree one node can store multiple values how it can be done let me show you in the example okay so dear students let us take this example this is the root node now Okay, how many values are there? Total, how many nodes are there in the root node? We are having only one. So, the M value will become one here. Okay, the value of M, it will become one. Now, this root node, I am going to split into two nodes. How many nodes? Two nodes. At this time, the value of M will become two. Because this root node, I am splitting into two parts. This is one part and this is second part. That's why M value will become two. Now, here this node is having two values so what i am going to do i am going to split them into three nodes see here this is one splitted into two again two is there i am splitting into three so in this case what is the m value it will become m value will become three now can you tell me what is m value here only one value five i am splitting into two nodes now what is the m value it will, it will give m value will become two so this is m is equal to two 
Now, how we need to do this splitting here? This splitting is done based on the number of values in the node. Okay, so here if we are having two values, then we need to split into two nodes. Now the unique thing about B trees is how we are reducing the levels in B tree. You know, if a normal binary search tree is there, you might have got five to six levels. But in this B tree, only how many levels we got? Level zero, level one, level two. Within three levels only, the data has been completed. So because of this only, these B trees will take less memory in the computer, less space. Yes, if levels have been reduced, automatically size of the B tree also will be reduced. Is it right? Now. This is one example. Let me take one more example. So this is again one node having 78 value. Which value? 78. Now what I am doing here? This node is I split into two nodes. Every node can consist of any number of values here. So here two values, here two values. That is one unique thing in B trees. One node at each level, a node can store multiple values also without any problem. So the m value at the starting is 1. I have split it into two nodes which means what is m value 2 here. Now here again I have split this into three nodes. You can see here. So I have split this into three nodes here, here and here. So what it will become m value will become here also 3. Why it will become 3? We have split it in 3. And what about the right side? Here also we got m is equal to 3. So one node has been split into two parts. That's why we got m is equal to 2 here. Again, this node has been split into three parts. So we got 3. So in next thing, it can be continued. Now, what is the big advantage of this B trees? Again, here we are seeing the levels have been reduced. Only we got three levels. And let me take one more example to show you the difference. Okay. So this is one more example. What is the m value here? As you can expect, m is equal to 1. Very good. And next, it is divided into two nodes again. So m value will become 2. And again, this one has been divided into 3 here. So m value will become 3. And this one is divided into 2 again here. One node divided into two parts. So m value will be 2. So in this way, one in one level, we can store multiple values in the node. This is how B tree works and what is the big advantage of B trees? Amount or the space will be reduced. Okay, the amount of memory which is which other trees will take, B trees will take considerably less memory. Okay, so time complexity will be, uh, sorry, space complexity will be reduced here with this. Yes, not only space complexity, if the levels have been decreased, even the time complexity also will be less, which is good which we, um, with this approach we can say that the B trees really performed well they will perform really well compared to the other types of trees so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care Allah peace.